Hey everybody, my name is Jenna Johnson. I am here at the Hot Shops Art Center in Studio 205. I've been here for about eight years now. I got started out of high school and uh, just started doing commission work and painting for the last eight years and have been here since. So today um, I'm going to show you a couple things that I do personally when I paint and I encourage you at home to grab some supplies if you have time while you're at home and try out some techniques that I'm going to show you today just so it can jumpstart you into doing your own creative work at home. I like to work with portraiture so you see two of these portraits behind me. This is a dear friend of mine uh, she is Afghan American and I'm trying to show both cultures in this series. So you got a, uh, you know, the traditional headdress, the gown, and then you have a, you know, her hair flowing in an American outfit holding her baby, which will be brought out once, once we uh, get going on this more. So these are the two pieces that I'm working on and these are the series that I'm working on for the next few months. I will be having a show in September and hopefully you guys can check that out as well. So I kind of use a bunch of different techniques when I, use, when I work. It's collage, it's paint, it's uh, hair, you know, I kind of just put everything that I can find into my work. Uh, I still not every not everything turns out the way I want it to and everything is an experiment on a day-to-day -day basis but don't be afraid to make mistakes and just make your work the way it is so I'm holding two pieces of ripped up canvas and I have sewn some patterns into them you can see a couple just very basic with some red thread and this red is what's gonna really work to catch the eye and bring the eye in because red is actually the first color that your eye will see and perceive so i'm going to start putting some red into here um i use paint to glue these pieces on i know it's going to stick and i know it paint likes paint so i am going to actually mix i'll show you guys how i mix this burnt orange and then we'll glue some of these on so i'm going to grab my paintbrush any paintbrush will do I'm gonna make it a little larger so that so that I have some room. So I'm gonna grab some of this orange. It is cadmium orange. And I'm gonna kind of mix a lot of it just so that I have enough to spread on the back surface. And anything that I don't use, I'll put it in something else in a different painting. So I'm not really wasting paint that I overmix. I'm integrating it within other work. And it works out because it kind of ties these pieces together in a way to have those same colors. So I took a tablespoon amount of this orange. You can see it's thicker. It's pretty easy to spread, but I am going to add a little bit of oh, no, dioxazine purple. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see when we get comments. I'm gonna mix a little bit of that purple in there, just a little bit. The purple goes a long way. And I'm starting to get that rusty orange now. I am inspired by other artists around me and I'm not stealing their ideas. I'm just using, I'm using what they have created to push my work to a further, further boundary. Um, I just get I get very inspired by other artists work and I I almost want to be on that level if, if that makes sense you always kind of want to push yourself to be better and other artists definitely help me to find new work find new ways to work and not be scared to fail when I'm doing my work so we'll test it we'll see it's a little lighter than the other one. I'm gonna put a little more, a little more of that purple in there. So I've been painting at the hot shops, mostly doing commission work for the last, and commission work means I'm somebody's coming and wanting a painting done of either their family or a portrait or, or a landscape and something for their home that they want and I've been doing that for the last eight years 
and that's helped me pay my rent to be here at the studio in order to do work that I want to do, which is this stuff. So, don't be afraid to try new things. All right, I think we got the color we wanted. So how you can work with different colors is lay one down, let it dry, and uh, mix that same color but add just a little bit of a lighter tint to it or a darker tint to it and it'll make it uh, it'll make it look pretty 3d once you put a second layer over that and it's really fun to play with different colors and mix whatever colors you want i like the uglier color the uglier the better for me almost So yeah, now I got that layer. I'm gonna take a larger brush. I'm working with very dirty water. <clears throat> can use different different add different things like water I spray water to make it a little more transparent you can see some of those brush strokes a little more just try everything you'll definitely find things you like and don't like but I'm gonna let some of that background peek through as well. We'll let that dry and then we'll do a different layer on top of that once it's done. Some things that work well within a painting and you can, you can pretty much do whatever you want when it comes to oil pastels. I'm sure kids have them at their schools, but if you don't, you're at home obviously. Find crayons, whatever you can, markers. But I like to do painting and some sketching within that, so I'm just gonna kinda go and sketch a little bit around and make some fun lines. There's no sense to it. I don't care what I put down because nothing's final until I say it is. Which brings me into my next point. How do I know when a painting is done? I, I step back and I, I look at it and it, it kind of tells me when it's done. And I know that's really hard to make sense of, but uh, sometimes you just want to go, go and paint more and paint more. And then you'll know at the end of it if you so it said to yourself, oh, I should have left it the way it was or I shouldn't have put this because I got too excited. You'll learn as you do more painting and, and more artwork that you'll know when it'll tell you, stop, you need to stop, I'm done. So listen to your artwork. That's a big, that's a big tip. I had some stamps in here that I had made. These are stamps that I had cut out of foam and I sewed some patterns into it. So now, I mean, just in this painting alone, you have paint, you have, you have fabric, you have uh, stamp work, collaging, you have a lot of these, you have hair, this is hair, actual hair, human hair. Um, it's all fun. So I got different colors. Nothing is final. Don't be scared to just let the painting tell you what it wants. That red was kind of nice. I just realized it needed that this whole time and sometimes I'm scared to put stuff down. The thing that brings me most pride in my work 
is seeing it when it's done and seeing them all together and knowing that I built it from the bottom up. I built the frame and I stretched the canvas and I put the paint on it and I made an image that someone can connect to in their heart. And that's a very special thing for me at the end of the day. That's why I do art. That's why I do art. That's why I paint. <laughs> Well, thanks for checking in, you guys. Uh, you can come see us once we reopen here at the Hot Shops. Again, I'm in Studio 205. We have over 80 artists that work in this building. So once we reopen, please come into the studios, come see what we do, get inspired, and go home and create your own things. See you later.